And also new tonight, Dayton, Dayton residents prepare to pay up for upgraded street lighting. Despite vocal protests and days of hearing, city commissioners voted to move forward with the plan. Robert Lowry is working for you with how much you'll have to pay for those upgrades. Well, expect to open your wallet to help pay for those street lights tonight. City Commission approving a funding plan to improve about 18,000 street lights across the city. On average, that's going to cost you about $25 a year. Now, for others, they'll have to shell out a little bit more cash. Right now, they've effectively passed it and it's the law, so we'll have to figure out where we go from there. $845,000. That's the cost for street lights. The University of Dayton will have to pay for all 122 of its properties. The university joined four other representatives to ask the city commission to reconsider their plan. We really didn't find out officially about this until the latter part of June and had roughly a little less than a week to put together our objection letter. Nothing is ever perfect when it's, when it's assessments. You know, everything uh, could always be a bit better. It's a project that's been considered for the past four years, the last streetlight assessment ending in 2006. Now the city is hoping to generate about $3 million to improve Dayton streetlights, switching them to LED lights, which are brighter and more energy efficient. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley says the amount was based on property values to soften the blow to those struggling to make ends meet. Our average uh, homeowner right now will pay $25 a year. And, you know, considering the, the poverty rate in the city of Dayton, we wanted to keep it as low as possible for some of those folks. Others objecting to that amount, however. The University of Dayton says lights covering their 400 acres of properties are solely paid for by the university. The vote tonight wasn't a, wasn't a big surprise. Um, we, we were hoping they would either table it or, um, or vote it down uh, that, or withdraw it, and that obviously didn't happen. And that assessment will last for the next six years. We're told people will start paying their bill next year. That's also when you can see improvements beginning. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.